All right, it's our guy. It is Elias Pettersson with an article. Okay, he didn't write the article himself, but it's an interview done with Elias Pettersson here in Sweden. And I wanted to go out there and make a video about this because on HockeySferie.se, we had ourselves the very first comments made by Elias Pettersson ever since the offseason began. You know, it's kind of uncharted territory, I'd say, to go out there this far into the offseason and actually get some comments made from folks that are on relevant hockey teams. And it's like, oh, not in response to a signing or a trade or whatever. It's just an article. This is just a regular interview done with PD out of the Swedish territory and city of Anje. And that is where PD is. That is where he is from, I'm pretty sure, and this is the article that we are going to be looking at today. Ilias Pettersson says, we have something good going on now. This is from Saturday, and it was written and published by Simon Fire, or Fire? I'm not too sure how that's pronounced there, but this article was actually in Swedish. I translated it into English via the Google machine. I'll leave a link in the description if you want to go ahead and read it yourself, but of course, you're going to have to translate it too if you want to get some of the info here. Despite Elias Pettersson playing injured, he took Vancouver to a first. That is probably not the word that I think should be used, but I'll just infer with a different word. He took Vancouver to their first playoff game since 2020. At home in Anye, I think that's how you pronounce it. If not, then I apologize. Elias Pettersson is now aiming for an even more successful season. Now it's just a matter of building on, he says to Sunsvall's newspaper. It was a heavy part of the past season for the Vancouver Canucks and Elias Pettersson. The Swedish star could not recognize the ice game and repeatedly had to answer questions about his status before the team was eliminated by the Oilers in the quarterfinal series. Now he is at home, recharging after that knee injury, and seeing the next generation at the EP40 skills camp. That is crazy. I did not realize that Elias Pettersson actually has his own skills camp for the little guys in Sweden. That is awesome. Absolutely awesome. It's actually linking to a Sunsfall newspaper article that goes out there and says pretty much the same thing here, but this article is behind a paywall, which is why we are not going to use this one to get the Pettersson quotes. It's got a pretty good picture of the guy in his sweater there, but that's why we go over onto HockeySferia.se. This is the scoop over here. Mainly, I wanted to give back to Anya. All the money that we raise on the EP40 skills camp goes to them. But then I want to offer kids to come here and teach them. Things that we have to teach here, they're things that I've practiced every summer, he says in a longer interview with Suns Falls newspaper. We also went out there and talked about the Vancouver Canucks. The now 25-year-old signed a new contract until 2032 with Vancouver, back in March, and he now believes that he's comfortable with both the city and the club's situation. Life in Vancouver is great. We have something good going on now. We have very good players, good coaches, and ever since our new GM Patrick Alvine and President Jim Rutherford came, the club has been turned upside down for the better. We were close to reaching a conference final in the season that was, but now it's just a matter of building on it, he tells the Suns Fall newspaper. And maybe there will also be future reinforcements from those in, I'm not going to try to pronounce that, in Anya. There are many who look good, I think. Everyone eats and everyone listens. It's the first time I get to act as a coach, if you can say so. I thought it'd be hard, but I think it's been great fun, says EP40. So, with this in mind, we have ourselves Elias Pettersson and his off-season plans. He's not going out there and stressing about a contract. Nah, nah, nah. He's already signed the deal. He's gotten it done. He's back in Vancouver for the next eight years. But while he's chilling out in the off-season, he's going to be helping out the local communities. He is donating the extra money that they get out of this hockey camp into the city of Anya, and he's helping out the kids, teaching them some skills that he has learned as a hockey player turned professional turned Vancouver superstar. It's also good to hear him speak out about the expectations and what exactly it is Vancouver might have in store for their team next season and beyond, trying to build off of that second round appearance and inevitable defeat at the hands of the Edmonton Oilers. I mean, you think about some of the other comments that were made about that appearance and the expectations. When Patrick Alvine had to do that postseason press conference, 
Speaking to the media after the team found themselves in a Game 7 one game away from making the third round, Alvin was like, hey, I'm disappointed to be here. I'm disappointed that we got eliminated so early. Like, this is a guy with him and Rutherford at the helm. They are so used to just dominating playoff series and winning back-to-back -back Stanley Cups and being in an ultra-uber-competitive position every single year that the first time that Vancouver finds themselves in that sort of territory and they lose after they blow a 3-2 lead, totally no-show game six, and then don't show up in game seven till the very end. The fact that the Vancouver Canucks ended off their series and their season like that, it's kind of telling when Alvin says, yeah, I'm disappointed to be here in front of you today, like I thought we'd be able to go further. It just indicates how deep the expectations are running with this squad. Not even just with the management, but with the players themselves. And for Elias Pettersson, he's going out there and saying, yeah, we gotta build on that. This team is good, we've got good players, we've got good coaches, and he even says it's about the management too. This team got turned, flipped upside down at the hands of Patrick Alvin. It just so happens that Alvin's plan is get a bunch of Swedes, get a bunch of former Penguins, sign the fan favorites, don't overpay for anybody, and we'll be on our way. That is such a refreshing style in comparison to what Vancouver Canucks fans had to suffer through in the past eight years with Jim Benning as the GM. Instead, imagine not overpaying for guys. Imagine not having to shell out so much extra money just to have guys stay and instead say, all right, well, sorry, you want way too much. You're just going to go to free agency. You're going to sign that big money deal elsewhere. And we're going to be looking like the smart ones in this situation, because in three, four, five years, the other team is going to be the one paying you $7.75 million or $5 million over the next six years, Lindholm and Zadorov. Patrick Alvin's not going to do that. And Elias Pettersson, I think, is doing a pretty good job at keeping things civil, but also saying, yeah, the team has flipped upside down, and the GM is a big part of that, changing the makeup of this team, changing the standard, and changing the financials about it, too. Thank you, Emily Castongay, for your service. So let me know your thoughts in the comment section below about the Vancouver Canucks and their future 2024-2025 season to be. What are your thoughts on Elias Pettersson speaking out about the success story that is the Vancouver Canucks in 23-24 and what they can expect to do in 24-25? Also, what are your thoughts on Petey running his own hockey camp, giving back to the community, giving back to the kids? If there's anybody who is from the Anya area in Sweden, then please let me know your thoughts in the comments as to how everything is going down. I personally didn't really think of Petey as the coaching type, but, you know, he's a really competitive person, always looking to learn, get better, and improve not just his on-ice performance, but everything else around him as well. He's always been a pretty solid dude. Ever since that story came out about his friends that got deported, yeah, we all kind of recognize the value that Elias Pettersson has as a human being, not just as a hockey player. So to see him do that, pretty nice stuff. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below, though, as to everything going on with Petey. I hope you enjoyed this video. Sign nine, and bye.